hello there this is another video on terraform and in this video we are going to talk about terraform modules why we need it and how we can modularize terraform resources or maybe some functionalities for our project by saying that let's get into the theory first what is terraform module for example you have to use many type of resources in your project and you want to use those resources in a single file then it becomes little bit challenging while managing all the resources in a single project in that place terraform module comes into the picture you can take some of the functionalities for example you can take out the vpc or the network module and you can create your vpc you can create your subnets routing tables all of those things maybe in a single module then you can have another module that module can contain your storage services such as object storage or any other storage for that matter you can have a separate module for firewall rules you can manage firewall rules at organization level from your terraform modules you can have multiple such services for example you can have container services on the cloud and you can modularize it for example if i put all of those configurations in a single file or maybe in multiple files in a single project then it would be very difficult to replicate the same thing in other projects maybe the other project may not need uh, storage as a service in that case you have to copy that code comment out the sections edit everything as per the new requirement so that becomes a lot of headache so what are the benefits of module before coming to what is module how it looks like we'll be uh, seeing it very soon as you see on my screen you can organize your configurations as i told you you can create multiple type of modules for different purposes you can better organize the things instead of putting everything in a single project or maybe in a single file encapsulating configuration what is encapsulation means if you have ever used any programming languages you can create your classes you can create your methods you can describe your data types and all of those things you can call that some of the functionalities of that class and the inside configuration in that class will be hidden from the outside world similarly in terraform you can write everything in modules and you can just consume by calling the module so it hides all the settings inside you just have to pass the values to the modules and get your desired resources deployed or modified on the go as i told you reusing configurations reusing means you can write your codes you can call it from multiple projects at a scale now what are the module sources obviously you can have local paths like where the terraform is running you can store the modules over there you can have terraform registry github bitbucket even s3 or google buckets also i'll put it in description section now these all are theories now let's see what exactly our module is if you remember our last sessions we have created everything in tf files similarly i have created a project I have created two folders basically as you see one is module another is projects in projects you can have multiple projects so for example i do have two projects now project 2 is empty in project 1 what i have done i have created few terraform files if you remember our earlier videos we used to write resource blocks so you we could create resources from this terraform file itself instead of doing that now we are calling modules i'll be describing everything very soon and i have defined the common section also so i have only defined which is my provider along with the region and i do have defined few of the variables which i need for this aws.tf file those definitions are here such as your cidr for the vpc i'll be creating one s3 bucket name for that and i want to put some tags on that bucket so i can show you the variable file also so this is my cidr the bucket name and also some tags very simple now as i told you i am not going to create the resources directly from this tf file instead of that i will be calling the modules so i have created a module folder as i told you now i have created two modules basically two directories one is vpc another is s3 what it contains it contains few terraform files i'll show you so this is a simple resource which i'm going to create which is vpc as you see resource type of your resource your identifier then something i'm getting from the variable file which is our our cidr block now in the variable as you see i have defined what is cidr it's basically a type string if you do not specify the type by default it will be string 
and it as you see it do not have any local tfverse file or no values will be assigned from the modules module itself and i do have a output so i basically want to output the vpc id once it is created as i told you i need to get the cidr block how do i get it in the module in my aws or my project file i am calling the vpc module where it is located and i have to provide the path you can provide your absolute path but relative path is much easier to remember as you see i am into this project one folder or directory now if i put dot dot i go one folder back which is my projects now i am into projects folder i need to one i need to go back one more folder okay so which is terraform so i put one more dot dot now i am into this terraform uh, base directory then i need to go to modules slash modules slash this vpc directory where i have kept all the vpc related module terraform files so in simple word terraform module is nothing but the same files which we used to deploy our resources instead of now directly putting those resources in your project file i'll be putting somewhere else and i'll be calling those files so basically as you see i have defined the source now the cidr block as you see this is my variable name cidr block for the module i have to pass that value i could have easily hard coded the cidr value and that, that will also work fine but now i do have a variable locally to this project only which is called project cidr which is defined in the terraform.tfverse file or variable file once i execute this module it goes to this vpc folder and checks all the terraform files over there does all the jobs then whatever output is written it provides you and you can fetch that value using your output in the local terraform file and similarly i am creating the bucket also which is in s3 what are the values i need i need bucket name and i need tags two simple variables so basically i am giving the bucket name which i am taking from my local variable file which is tfverse and also the tags which is also in tfverse file then i'm taking the output which basically is coming as vpc.id i'll just show you the outputs from my module vpc id i am calling this one from my local file so i'll be getting one value over here similarly s3 has also one output which is my bucket id as yeah, simple as that you can have multiple outputs depends on your needs so these outputs can be even fed to other resources going forward in your project file so that you get the value and reuse in your project now in simple word as i told you modules are nothing but your resource.tf files which includes your variable definition which includes your output definition of course the resource definition and you can just simply call it and i do not hold any uh, configuration related codes in my project file i only hold the variables and i also hold the state file in project remember no state file will be created in your module folder everything will be created at your project folder only so by saying that let's get started uh, with the demonstration what i'll do is let me jump back to my aws console and as you see only one default vpc is present so i'll be creating a new one let me create an user before that let me go to im let me go to users one old user was created forget about that what i can do is i can click on add users i can put one username i can put something like test user i only need programmatic access i do not need any console access or password access click on permissions attach existing policies i'll be taking administrator access for this demonstration which is not a good practice you should provide the relevant access only so once you click on create user it takes few seconds now you will have a csv file to be downloaded you can download it i'll just copy the user id here and i'll need the access key also let me copy the access key now and the same value you will also get in the csv file which i've downloaded right now now close this window let's come back to our vs code and let me check yeah i am into the project one directory let me put ls just to check what are the files present uh, forget about the terraform log file because uh, the initialization is was already done that is why it is there let me still do terraform in it terraform has initialized successfully now what i can do is i i'll just show you what my common or provider looks like i have only specified which region it has to go i have not provided any access 
ID or access key, which is not also not a good practice to put all your secrets in code. That's not a good practice. That is why what I'll do is I'll just put two environment variables. So as I'm using PowerShell, which will be in dollar uh, env for my case. If you are using bash or shell script, you can use export. Okay. So no issues. I'll just copy these two lines. I'll paste here. Hit enter. Now my environment variable is set. Now what I can do is I can put Terraform plan. Wait for the plan to appear on your screen. As you know already, it takes a little bit time. So very simple. And the plan is let me check very quickly. It is going to create my bucket which is module it's not resource as you see because in my project file i have not defined any resource i'm just calling the modules another module will be the access control list i have defined the acl in this s3.tf file so basically i'm creating the resource first then i'm i'm defining the bucket as private then my vpc three resource to be added nothing to change nothing to destroy because this is the first time what i, I can do is Terraform apply wait for the prompt now I have to put yes hit enter sit back and relax let me just switch to my AWS console and let me go to VPC as you see everything is complete now and let's check the VPC console very quickly VPCs the new VPC has been created not this one sorry this one and the ID is 95A and that should be printed on my screen yes this one 95a now let's check the state file a state file will be very simple with three resources and it's module dot bucket it's your bucket next this is your access control list for that module dot bucket then you have module dot vpc you can have many type of modules and you can call according to your needs now let me give you another quick example what i'll do very quickly i'll copy paste all the files from my project one to project 2 not the state file yes i have pasted it for example i do not want s3 for this project very simply i remove those things save the file and maybe i can change my region to something else this time us west 2 it, it becomes very simple to manage everything at project level and you can leverage your modules in modules you can also define your providers but that is not recommended whatever you define in the project level it should be taken by the module automatically and i do i do have to change few values maybe this time i put 20 for the cidr and i do not need s3 this time so i'm done let me open the terminal again let me put let me go to project 2 folder okay these are the files present let me hit Terraform init initialization is successful. Now let's do Terraform plan and see what it does. Basically now I am into project 2 folder not project 1. Oh sorry as you see uh, in the variable definition I have not removed that and that is why it is asking me for values as it do not have the default values. I will just remove this because I do not need S3. What I will do is I will just cancel this. I will run the plan again. Now only one resource it is going to create which is VPC. Let's just recheck it. Yes, VPC. It's that simple. Now let me put Terraform not from apply. This time I'll go with auto mode, auto approve and it will be created soon. Yep, apply is complete. Let's move to the region which was US West 2 I guess yes. Oregon. This is my new VPC and VPC ID should be displayed on my screen which is ending with 83 yes 83 so this is how you can create your multiple projects reuse your modules as you see i have not defined any resources here also i'm just reusing my module and by the way if you have remote modules such as s3 bucket or something like that you have to change the source only and all the concepts remain exactly same you have to provide the values or the values for variables also and you, you are good to go now what what i'll quickly do is i'll just destroy one project destroy i'm also going with auto mode so my project 2 will be destroyed now so this is how even you can manage every project at different scale so it is going to delete everything as per the plan yes destroy is complete one resource has been destroyed now let me jump back here put a refresh on this page which is us west 2 and only one should be present and if I go to US East 1, which is uh, not West 1, 
my bad it should be north virginia us east one and i do have the network ready for project one so module is reusable it is hiding all the configurations from your project page it is also better to organize all your codes in module so that you can manage everything individually for example i want to enhance or modify some of the properties for vpc i do not have to touch the s3 module so there are multiple benefits you can read it out i'll put i'll be putting all the links including this github code you can take a reference from there also and thanks for watching see you in next videos